you talked a lot about games. So I, my thing was, I know that the games is the section where you can typically, they say you can improve the most and gain more points on if you improve that section. It's like the most learnable section to improve. And my thing is I struggle with two things. I struggle with timing and I struggle with actually setting up those diagrams because I know that I get a game and then I start reading and then I start kind of getting anxious or nervous because I'm not super certain as to whether my setup is strong or if it's the correct setup or the most efficient. And then by then I'm already losing time. I get to the questions and I find myself towards the last questions. Um, I'm either doing the first ones all the way correctly and when I hit the like the third or fourth game not having time or I'm just guessing. That's a very common situation to be in. Games are tough. They are the most learnable, but they're also the hardest at first. What what you majoring in college? I did psych and I did I did um a bio psych and bio. It's just it's I, I've never I have never seen a, a logic game before ever 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 ever. So I've been learning what a logic game is by practicing the questions. Yeah yeah. And how many questions have you done? How many games have you tried out? I took a course called Kaplan, or not Kaplan, yeah, I think it was Kaplan. Um, I will tell you that I feel like it didn't help at all. I almost feel like I ended up more confused than when I started because they do a diagnostic test and I scored, I think, about the same from start to finish. And I then tried to study a little bit more just off of the books they gave me and I stayed in that same area. Wow, that must have been really discouraging. <laughs> I wanted to cry. Uh, it's totally understandable. And unfortunately, that does happen to a lot of people. Some of these classes, it's hard to get personalized attention. And then if the methodologies don't work for you, you're kind of stuck in that. So I'm glad that you're using different materials now and that you've reached out and found me because I think that there's a lot that we can do together. And you said you've done half the games in that book, but that may not actually be that many games. Maybe it's at most a couple dozen, right? Yeah, it's probably a couple dozen. Yeah, and you know there's over 350 released LSAT Logic games ever. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's so for that reason, I think you don't need to do all of them, of course. But if you were to even expose yourself to 100 or 150 of those games, you would see more of the patterns they contain. A couple dozen really isn't enough. The LSAT does repeat itself, and there are certain trends but there's enough variety that you need almost need a larger sample to start seeing the patterns.